Hey friends, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the most studied probiotics in the world. It's actually a probiotic yeast known as Saccharomyces boulardii. It was first studied and isolated by a researcher in France over 30 years ago, and since then, there's been some 65 studies on this particular uh, probiotic yeast. Now, I will flash up some studies as I'm talking to kind of help you better understand the, the scientifically validated health benefits when you take this particular probiotic. Now, where does the most of the research on this kind of fall into? Well, uh, helping to support people, especially when they're taking antibiotics, because antibiotics, as you've heard about in the past, can alter the gut microbiome, reduce the stability and, and uh, compromise the ecosystem that can allow opportunistic pathogens to come in and take place and then cause inflammation and digestive issues. So especially when you're taking antibiotics, you would like to supplement alongside with this probiotic yeast because it's not going to be altered by the antibiotics, but it will help to maintain the stability of your uh, microbiome ecosystem. So just a small little personal story before we get into all of the other health benefits like increasing secretory IgA, the trophic effect that Saccharomyces boulardii imparts on your small intestinal epithelial layer, that is your intestinal lining, it has some pro-growth properties, it can be helpful if you have things like intestinal permeability and all that. But let me just share with you a small, a small story. Uh, I'll flash up a uh, somewhat gross image of an infected foot. I was recently on vacation with my daughter and we were messing around on the beach in Hawaii. And I stepped on the sea urchin. She was like, my daughter was like, dad, let's go snorkel in this. And I was just going quick. I didn't put on my fins and boom, stepped on the sea urchin. I blew it off. It was like day three of the trip. I just thought, okay, I'll clean it out. It stung like heck for like 45 minutes. It was just incredibly painful. But then about four days into it, it got really infected and inflamed and I felt like I needed to go to the emergency room, but I waited. This was like at you know, eight o'clock at night on a Monday. Of course, all the urgent cares are closed. I did what I could to sleep through the night, breathing good and meditating because it was so swollen, swollen and inflamed. There was red streaks coming up my foot, so I knew I was infected. So uh, the, the nurse practitioner said, yep, you definitely got infected by the sea urchin. Unfortunately, you have to prescribe two antibiotics to you, doxycycline and Keflex. And I thought, okay, gosh, well, why the doxy? She said, well, the doxycycline helps to prevent MRSA, methicillin-resistant staph aureus, from growing if it is a staph aureus infection. And so the Keflex will do its job of killing it, but we don't want it to get you know, multi-strain resistant. So I was like, okay, well, and by the way, um, it was a 10 day course of both. So I was really worried about trashing my microbiome and all this. So I basically just took five days of Keflex and I, I didn't take the Doxy. But what I did was take probiotics and Saccharomyces boulardii along with it. So I didn't have any alterations in you know, um, bowel movements, motility, no diarrhea, basically no nothing. I, m I was able to minimize the side effects of taking the antibiotic and the infection went away in basically four days and that's when I stopped taking the antibiotics. Now, it was an old school mentality that was taught when I was an undergrad that you never take the course of antibiotics, you never stop the course of antibiotics early. You run it all the way through, but new science is saying, well, you, you probably can stop it when the infection goes away, um, you know, be, because it, it did its job. And so, again, the idea of taking probiotic yeast and probiotic bacteria during the course of antibiotics is to maintain the stability and diversity of your microbiome because antibiotics can wreck that. And so I was really grateful that we had just launched this product because I had it right with me and I was able to take it um, and of course support my immune system health and help to prevent the formation of any antibiotic resistant bacteria as a, as a result of taking that. So here's the bottle image right here. It's called ProBioMaintain SB. SB stands for Saccharomyces boulardii. Again, when you think probiotics, a lot of people think of bacteria but probiotic yeast, it helps to maintain. It's not a pathogenic yeast, it's a symbiotic yeast that helps to maintain the, the diversity of the microbiome. Now, with that small little side story, let's kind of go back to some of the physiologic functions that I was alluding to that I, that I think are pretty favorable and worth getting excited about. Number one, especially right now with cold and flu season at its peak, we have Days are short, you know, a lot of people are cold and indoors, spending a lot more time inside, so that's when we see cold and flus increase. Saccharomyces boulardii may help in that particular context because it supports your body's first-line immune system defenses within the gastrointestinal tract by maintaining and helping to support secretory IgA levels. 
So you've heard of immunoglobulins. These are, are factors, uh, antibodies made by your own immune system that are relatively nonspecific, but when you're exposed to exogenous pathogens, immunoglobulins, particularly secretory IgA, can help to neutralize those pathogens. And uh, when we're stressed, when we're not sleeping well, when we're worried about the outcome of the election or this or that, um, we can, re psychological stress and all of that and uncertainty reduces your body's secretions of secretory IgA. So this can be a nice way to help to maintain and support that. Also, I alluded to the trophic effect and the ability to help to maintain the structure of these teeny little cells called your intestinal epithelium. You know, remember the GI tract is selectively permeable so that you can absorb nutrients from the food you eat, but this permeability has downsides because you can inadvertently absorb pathogens or say ant antigens from the, your food. So you want to maintain that integrity and this particular probiotic yeast has been shown to do that. So there's a lot of benefits here. It's very affordable and now we're excited to offer it from one of our partners over in Europe who has been fermenting and bio-fermenting raw materials. We get our vitamin K2 from them. We get a lot of great products from them but they now offer um, this DNA verified Saccharomyces boulardii that we're selling through MyoScience. So just wanted to kind of share this video with you. I'll put links and resources to a blog post that has just a ton of references. As I mentioned, this has been studied and recommended uh, and it's recommended in Europe for, for many years now. But you know, it's kind of one of these things that um, you know, when it comes to probiotics, people get really excited about soil-based organisms and the latest flashy thing. But this is time tested. It's been shown to be effective and it's very safe and there's a lot of benefits. So I'll put links below. As always, thanks for tuning into these videos. We're happy to help you on your health journey and we'll catch you on a future one down the road. Bye now.